To build the garden of your dreams, you need 10 cubic feet of soil containing 17% clay. You have two types of soil that you can combine to achieve this. The first type of soil has 35% clay and the other type has 10% clay. How much of each soil should you use? Any idea what we should use for X and Y? X is going to be a type of soil, amount of a type of soil. So I'm going to say amount of 35% soil. And Y is going to be the amount of 10% soil. Our total, and then in parentheses, I'm going to write 17%. We want our total to be a mixture that is 17% clay. In this problem, I see information about a percentage, percentage of clay in each mixture. And the other thing is the amount of that mixture. Or amount of each soil. Okay, so the amount is the easy row. How much of the 35% soil do we need? We don't know, that's X. How much of the 10% soil do we need? Y. And that has to add up to how much soil total? 10 cubic feet, the amount is in cubic feet. For the percent, this is where some of you are probably like, I already know what to do. Some of you might be a little confused. The 35% mixture, if we do 0.35 times X, that represents how much of soil X is actually clay. 0 0.10 times Y represents how much of soil Y is actually clay. This last cell, we want to represent the amount of our total soil that is actually clay, and we want it to be 17%. So we're going to do 17% times 10 cubic feet of soil to get 1.7. We want this to add up to 1.7. Does that make any kind of sense whatsoever? Okay. Once you have this set up, you've got your two equations. <clears throat> you can then solve this one by elimination or by substitution. Your choice. Okay, let's look at number five. I want you to try number five on your own. It's very, very similar to this problem, but instead of talking about amount of clay in soil, it's talking about the amount of pure alcohol in an alcohol solution. We're talking the kind of alcohol that they use to like sanitize lab equipment, okay? Not the kind that people over the age of 21 might drink. So take a moment and see if you can start labeling this table and start figuring out what's going to go where in the table. Okay, X is going to be one type of our solution and it's going to be our 24% solution. The amount of our 24% solution. Type Y is going to be the amount of our 64% solution. What percent do we want our total to be? 34%. We have information about the percent of alcohol in the solution, and we have information about the amount, which is in gallons. Okay? The amount is the easy one. The amount of the 24% solution plus the amount of the 64% solution 
is going to equal a total of how many gallons of solution? Six gallons. Okay. Now, how much of the X solution is actually alcohol? We would do 0.24 times X. That will tell us however much of that X solution that we use, that will tell us how much of it is pure alcohol. Then for the 64% solution, 0.64Y will tell us how much of that amount of solution is actually pure alcohol. Add those together and it needs to equal how much of our six gallons is actually pure alcohol. What do you guys get for that cell? 2.04. So you have to do 0.34, 34% times six, and that gives you, is it 2.08? 2.04? So that means that 2.04 of those gallons is pure alcohol, and that makes 34%. That is 34% of the six. So we want that 34% to be pure alcohol out of our six. Does that make that problem make sense? How I've described those cells, hopefully. Okay. On your assignment, there are going to be four word problems. On those four word problems, I want you to set up the equation for all four word problems. Okay. Once you have the equation set up for all four of them, I would like you to pick two of them to fully solve. Does that seem reasonable? 